to the Miata Kingdom, Miata Mecca. This is the first of a three-part video series about the Miata Clutch. This first video will be about Miata Clutch Adjustment and the sweet spot. The second video will be about how to bleed the Miata Clutch Hydraulic System. And the third video will be about how to diagnose Miata Clutch Noises. I want to make your clutch experience great again. And to have a great clutch experience means you must have a, a great sweet spot. The sweet spot being the point of engagement on the clutch pedal travel. The pedal all the way down, fully disengaged. The pedal all the way up, fully engaged. I like my sweet spot somewhere in the middle. The sweet spot is key to teaching a new student the manual transmission. The best way to teach a new student is get the Miata parked on a hill, pointing upwards, and have them balance the Miata on the hill with just the clutch pedal. Push in too much, the Miata rolls backwards. Let out too much, the Miata creeps up the hill. Balance. Become one with the Miata clutch. With a great sweet spot, smooth operation becomes second nature as your spirit melds with the Miata. Let's go over some of the common issues that disturb the zen of the sweet spot. The installation of a competitive or racing clutch generally moves the sweet spot closer to the floor. What needs to be done is the stroke of the pedal needs to be increased to move the sweet spot back toward the middle of the pedal stroke. Let's take a look at how to adjust the Miata clutch pedal to move that sweet spot, the point of engagement, back to the middle of the clutch pedal travel. First step of any clutch adjustment is pedal free play. Free play is the amount of movement of the clutch pedal before the clutch pedal rod, the actuation rod, strikes the clutch, clutch master cylinder. So there must be some free play so that the piston of the clutch, clutch master cylinder can actually return to its stop. To adjust the pedal height, what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the location of the clutch safety switch. This is the switch that when you push on the clutch pedal, this this engages the cruise control of the Miata automobile. To adjust the switch, we're going to use a long 17 millimeter wrench. And when I'm working under a dash, I like to use long wrenches when I can because there's always a problem with actually putting enough torque to break the bolts loose. So I'm going to use a long wrench. I'm going to break that 17 loose. And when I do, then I'm going to hold the pedal and I'm going to Turn the switch until the threads become flush with the nut. When they're flush, now secure the jam nut, that 17 millimeter, and then I'm going to check my pedal free play. I have way too much pedal free play. Now what I need to do is adjust the clutch actuation rod, the rod right here. It has a jam nut on it too, 12 millimeter. And once again, I'm going to use a long wrench for giving me that extra torque. Now this nut can be so tight that you think you're going to break things when you break it loose, but break it loose. And then what you can do is unscrew the rod, perhaps lengthen the rod to create the proper clutch pedal free play. A little bit more. There it is, right there. Then I'll hold the rod, turn the jam nut back, and then use that jam nut to lock the rod in place. Double check my free play. Good free play. What we've done is we've moved the pedal higher, which moved the sweet spot closer to the pedal travel. The other step you can take is there's a rubber stop on the pedal downstroke, we can remove this rubber stop and give you a little bit more of a downstroke. 
Again, once again, we've, what we've done is change the stroke of the pedal to move the sweet spot to the middle of the pedal travel. Once you have moved the clutch sweet spot to clutch center pedal travel, your next issue may be a jerky takeoff or abrupt engagement of the clutch assembly. The more aggressive the clutch installed, the more touchy the sweet spot can become. In time, you will relearn the sweet spot, as this is what you paid for, a more positive clutch grabbing experience. Another issue that disturbs the zen of the sweet spot is clutch chatter. A shaking or shudder when the clutch is engaged on takeoff. Oil can get on the clutch disc from a leak from the transmission input seal. Comes through the nose of the transmission here, down the shaft, and into the clutch assembly. Chatter can also be caused by a poorly machined clutch flywheel surface or a surface that's worn out. Chatter can also come from a pilot bearing that's bad and causing the clutch disc to be erratic or not true and concentric. Also, clutch chatter can be caused by the throw out bearing sleeve. This is the nose of the transmission. You can see the nose here. And the nose of the transmission can be worn out. This can be a rough surface and actually steps can be worn into the surface. And the throw out bearing actually catches on the steps, a cox, and won't release correctly. The quality and condition of the clutch disc and pressure plate can also be issues for clutch chatter. So if you purchase an inexpensive aftermarket clutch kit, it may come with an inherent chatter. Driveline issues can also cause chatter. Engine mounts, drive shaft, differential, differential mounting, or even broken suspension. A sticky brake can give you a symptom like clutch chatter. You can also have what is called a broken clutch disc. When that happens, a piece of the clutch disc becomes trapped between the pressure plate and the flywheel. The fiber disc can break, a chunk can break off and become trapped, or even one of the dampening springs can dislodge itself, break, and become trapped between the flywheel and the pressure plate. The clutch will not disengage, even though the pedal feel is normal. To diagnose the problem, hammer the clutch pedal, hold it down, try to put it in first gear. Repeat that several times till you can get it into first gear. Once you get it into first gear, you'll know that it must be a broken clutch disc. The next time you go to shift the car, it will be stuck and locked up again. Also, there can be an issue with a broken clutch pressure plate spring or a diaphragm spring. When that happens, the, uh, the clutch pedal feels strange. It feels soft and weird, and it doesn't work correctly. The spring of the pressure plate can actually break. You can't see the brake, but it'll break down in here, and, when, and it will not apply correct pressure to the clutch assembly. Another symptom we should mention is the issue of a smooth clutch disc. This is a new disc. As you can see, there are air vents cut into the disc fiber to allow the disc to breathe. A smooth, worn out disc cannot breathe and becomes sticky. After driving for some time, you stop and select neutral to wait in traffic. But when you go to take off, you cannot select any gear. The clutch is stuck, and so are you. The smooth disc is stuck to the flywheel like a hot dish taken from the kitchen sink 
and set on the counter. They have vacuum sealed themselves together. To release the clutch, hammer the clutch pedal to break the vacuum bond. The last clutch sweet spot Zen issue we will discuss sends a technician into a complete tailspin, an absolute denial. But before I continue, I need to tell you about our two online stores. MiataMecca.com is our home website and store with free shipping to all USA addresses. Special discounts are given for multiple purchases. The second store is on eBay. With over 2,000 items listed, we ship internationally from Miata Mecca on eBay. You can save over 10% or more with a home store, MiataMecca.com purchase over the eBay store. Let's get back to the Clutch Zen Big Fail. After you have completed a clutch replacement, you go to do the test drive, but the clutch will not release. It is broken or stuck. The clutch disc has been installed upside down backwards. The clutch disc has a, a flat side to it, a flat side, and it also has a side that protrudes, that sticks out. The flat side goes towards the flywheel. When installed backwards, the protruding center butts up and locks on the flywheel. There is a simple test to see if this is the case when you get over your angst. Slowly push down on the clutch pedal. At the same time, push the shifter into first gear. Hold pressure on the shifter. There will be a sweet spot about three quarters of the way down when the shifter will drop into gear. Push down more and the clutch locks up again. We have done a few things, so we know a few things. Be sure to watch our next clutch video how to bleed the Miata clutch.